feeling good, feeling great. Cause I got a big old smile upon my face. And you can't take that away. Mm -hmm. Feeling good, feeling good. Oh my guys, I literally just ended a vlog yesterday and I'm picking up on a new vlog today. So this vlog is gonna be a little bit of a road trip vlog. We're going out of state to visit my family in Utah and then we're coming back home for a week and the next week we're going to New Mexico to visit my brother. We're getting all my traveling out now because you guys know I'm literally gonna give birth in I think 14 weeks, which is so crazy. That's my due date. So yeah, we're gonna go visit and do everything now because we won't be able to do it for a while once baby gets here. It's been a year since we've been out to Utah to visit my family and the last time we were there we were there because unfortunately my grandpa passed away so that was at his funeral so yeah and then you guys know last year in 2023 my husband and I got married so as soon as we came back from that in March we hit the ground running we planned our wedding in five months had our wedding in September and yeah it was a super busy time I did get to see some of my family at my wedding and other family members couldn't make it because of medical issues and being elderly so I'm super excited to go and see them and yeah we're leaving tomorrow morning at 8 a.m and it's going to be a nine hour road trip which means it's going to be probably 10 hours because of stops and we have a child so that's the plan I'm just going to do some prep and yeah we got to go to the store get a few road trip snacks all the things so I thought I'd bring you guys along with me if you missed the last vlog it was basically just my resurrection weekend vlog which was last week so I'll put that right up here but other than that the other day which was Monday I went and got my nails done and my toes so we're all good there and I'm waiting for baby to get home he's so funny he's literally at the gym right now I'm like babe we have to leave tomorrow morning. We gotta finish cleaning the house. We got stuff to do and you're at the gym, but love that for him, that's his thing, you know? So I actually, I really do love that for him, but he's just so funny because he's like, eh, we got time. Insert Mr. Incredible. Yeah, I've got time. I got time. Do I got time? I got time. He's got time. We are gonna work on cleaning the makeup brushes before I go, I've been trying to keep up with this. I just ran out of my actual makeup brush solution. So I concocted the OG dish soap and olive oil method, which you know what? That's all right, girl. We got to get them clean. So I'm just going to do this. Um, Chant did just get me new brushes for Valentine's Day. He got me a set, um, but I just want to clean all this, make sure it's good. And then that way overnight you can dry. Um, and I switched to using a silicone beauty blender if I do want to use a beauty blender. I've just been using makeup brushes, but I love this one. I know it seems weird to do use like a silicone beauty blender, but they don't harbor mold like normal beauty blenders. And this is just one from, you can get this from Walmart or Target, and I love it because right after I wash it as well. So this has already been washed, but I'm just washing it again. So after I let these dry, I'm gonna go ahead and start packing our actual bags. I'm just trying to bring a duffel bag and then my kind of like a carry-on bag with all my, um, activities to do in the car i also need to remember to download novelle's youtube videos because we're not gonna have any service where we're driving through that's gonna be crucial because we're gonna be sitting in the car for quite a while and then obviously i need to make sure i have like her headphones and everything charged i recommend if you do allow your kids to watch an ipad or tablet by the way that's not the only thing we bring for her we bring uh word activities you know like a little whiteboard and tracing stuff you guys will see but we bring other things for her to do not just the phone the entire time but i highly suggest downloading shows that are super calm and not overstimulating. like go back to the early 2000s and even the 90s i have shown novella all the childhood shows i grew up with just because i thought it was cute and like nostalgic but the shows back then were so calm and they weren't all crazy now. Like I've never allowed Novella to watch super high face, high paced crazy stuff like Coco Melon. They've done studies and that's literally like cocaine for kids and I'm not even being dramatic. Look it up. That's so overstimulating and crazy. So we're going to download shows like Max and Ruby, Franklin, Bananas and Pajamas and like the OG versions because like the graphics and the coloring is just a lot more calm. But I do need to make sure I remember that. These Lisa Frank Cheetah Print brushes are my absolute favorite. I got these with a makeup pouch and then also a Lisa Frank uh, palette when it came out a few years ago. And I'm obsessed, so I'm cleaning all of these. 
Okay, just finished my brushes. I only cleaned the ones that I'll be taking and a few extra. I also found all of my Care Rare Beauty Blenders from the Wet n Wild collaboration and I washed those. I haven't used them for months, so they were so filthy, but they have been redeemed and all washed. So I'm going to let them dry and then I'm going to put them back in their little package just as like a little collector thing. But these are done and now we're going to pack. Oh, I also packed my Beauty Blender holder for my silicone Beauty Blender. <laughs> So on the outside, of course, we have our sanitizer. Some of these accessories are already in here because this is her school bag, like I said. But then in here, we have extra tissues for her. We have her little sunnies. We also have an extra travel brush, which is always in there. And then she has a lip balm, and she wants to bring her gloss. Which is um, snow cold. Um, snow cold. Yeah, with peppermint. Yeah. And then this just has little hair ties in it. She's allowed to bring one stuffed animal on the trip, so she chose her little puppy dog, so he's chilling in here. Another good quiet activity for her is Play-Doh, so we're bringing two of these, and I'm just putting them on the side here. We're also bringing an extra outfit, just in case. Of course, we're bringing her little tablet. And I don't know if we're actually going to bring this because she does have drawing stuff already, but this is like one of those little rainbow sketch pads she got this for christmas it's so cute it's from amazon a little dinosaur and then i told you guys we're doing other activities so this is one of them her little uh wipe clean tracing letters then this is her other major tour she gets to bring with her we want to make sure you know she gets to bring what she wants so she's bringing her baby alive her baby alive has some accessories in here and then i thrifted this suitcase actually at the goodwill outlets last time i went so this is just full of some basically mini brands and extra diapers and clothes for her little baby alive and then this is the last activity pouch so you guys can see once we put this in here she basically only has a backpack and then her little duffel bag but in here so we have stickers we have pencils we have pens then we just have some fidget toys in here we have some little flashcards for counting i brought some small books because she really enjoys reading these ones she can read by herself or we can read it together um and then i brought her a little journal Chick-fil-A has, I think these are from Chick-fil-A, but Chick-fil-A has these really cute little conversation cards. So we're bringing these. We love to do these as a family. And that's everything for her. First time I've been able to update you guys and hop on this camera, but we came in last night. We got here, I want to say like at 7.30. We just relaxed, then we grabbed some pizza to go, ate, and then everyone slept. Woke up this morning, didn't do much, just hung out. We're staying at my grandma's instead of a hotel. Normally when we come out here, we stay at the hotel. Um, and yeah, my grandpa used to live here, but he passed away last year. So it's been nice to just spend time with her and catch up. Um, and then the only thing we did today, because now it's around one o'clock Saturday, we just went to the mall. So I'll give you guys a mall haul later, but we're just making a quick, quick stop back at my grandma's house, grabbing our snacks. And then we're going to go to my other grandma's, um, house and hang out with her. And then apparently we're going to go to Red Lobster later. So yeah, this trip is not really much other than visiting with family so yeah but i definitely want to show you guys what we got we love box lunch we have a box lunch in our state um in a specific city but honestly it's not as good as this one and it's just so much fun so i did vlog a little bit for you guys there but uh yeah that's what we're up to and i'm wearing this cute i love this i thrifted this and it's just so cozy it's snowing here so yeah thank you baby oh yes you got a lava cake Baby just grabbed our snacks. <laughs>
about these two. Look how cute this is. So we visited with my grandma for a little bit and now we're back at my other grandma's house so I want to show you guys what we got from box lunch earlier at the mall. If you don't know what box lunch is, basically it's just like this store with purses, accessories, and clothing from all different sorts of movies and shows. It can be Disney, anime, Pixar, Sanrio, whatever, and it's super cute. So I'm going to show you everything that we got. They did have a sale on their clothes happening, so Chance got Novelle this super cute Spider Gwen shirt. And then he got a spider punk shirt, which this is so awesome. They had a really good Spider-Man merch at Box Lunch. But this is his spider punk. Here's the front, like so cool. And then the back. Then we ended up getting a little onesie for baby girl. And it's a little Up onesie, like how cute. If you guys didn't know this, Married Life from Up was my aisle song at the wedding. So it's super cute. It's one of our favorite family movies. And we got it in nine months because she already has so many clothes and all the other sizes. But this was just so precious because she's also our honeymoon baby. So we love this. And then I love the Choco Rooms from Box Lunch, but they didn't have any. So instead I got my little hamburgers in my opinion these are not as good as the choker rooms but i wanted a little snack novi got two different toys so she got a little surprise box and it had choco in it and then she also got this little japanese like miniature cafe set but all the pieces are scrambled so i'm not gonna show you guys that also i've been on the hunt for like a neutral cute hat that i can pretty much wear on the daily and then chance saw this cute little hello kitty one so i had to get her she's just beige and she's got a little fluffy hello kitty right on top super cute and normally when we go to box lunch, I like to get some pins. So I found two. I found Choco Cat and then this other little character. I don't know how to pronounce his name properly, but he's the little dog. And then when we were at box lunch, I really wanted to find a new lounge, lounge fly purse or bag. But I didn't find anything that I really liked. So then we walked past Hot Topic and I found this purse. And I grabbed it. But also at Hot Topic, I got this super cute Japanese Hello Kitty racer, a little crop top. And then this was the little bag that I got. Like, are you kidding? I also wanted to find like a smaller bag that wasn't a backpack because I have a lot of lounge fly and box lunch bags, you know, or backpacks. So this was the perfect size. It's pastel and it has all my favorite characters. We have Kuropi, Batsmaru, Hello Kitty, Choco Cat, My Melody, and Twin Stars. So. That's everything we got. We're gonna head out to go to Red Lobster now, so I'll catch up with you guys later. So it is our last full day here. We woke up today and we didn't do much other than have breakfast with my grandma at Cracker Barrel. Here's my OOTD. I'm just wearing this little mama bear shirt. And then I have my maternity leggings on, or my maternity pants, which I love. Apparently these are sold at Target. I got these at Ross, but the brand is at Target and they're awesome. So we went to a Cracker Barrel this morning and had breakfast. We've just been kind of hanging out, talking and resting. I'm gonna do a little bit of makeup because I haven't worn any makeup in. Um, I just wanna put myself together a little bit. Then we're gonna stop at the Black Rifle Coffee Company, which I'm so excited about. Chance gets his coffee from there and it's a veteran owned and their little slogan is like, American made coffee for Americans love america okay so we're gonna stop there because they have an actual in-person coffee shop which and i'm super have to to mall, but we're deciding. yeah we're deciding if we're gonna go back to the mall um, but i'm excited about black rifle and then and then we're gonna stop and visit my grandpa's grave site and then later on since it's our last night we're gonna meet with my other family i have an uncle and aunt cousins and my other grandma's here so we're gonna go meet up at their house kind of for one last hangout and then we leave back home tomorrow at eight o'clock so 
that's the plan. I am gonna quickly tidy up our room that we're staying in just because it's a little bit of a mess. And then I'm gonna do a little bit of makeup. Just visited grandpa and now we're here. Yay! Oh, and I'm wearing my little bag. So this was a new drink that they literally just put out today and it's an iced honey blackberry latte so it's so good and it comes with oat milk which i enjoy my stuff with oat milk or normal milk but that was just part of the drink is oat milk it's so good i was a little nervous because you know when you look at a coffee and you can see like the darker it is the stronger it is so i was a little nervous but it's so bomb chance got a i tried his i do not like it because it's too strong a, like a bourbon iced coffee and then my dad got some um salted sea salt caramel and dark chocolate and he got his hot and he let me try it and it's actually pretty good too so a super awesome and we did get coffee um from them as well hello how could we not support it and then we got my dad a gift but he doesn't know that we bought it for him yet so we'll show him for we'll show him later but it's a super awesome mug and it's like an espresso mug not no it's a glass mug and it has the company's logo so it has this and then it has a bullet like going through the back it is so awesome so we got that from my dad so yeah now we're gonna go hang out with some family um and yeah i'm so happy we got to go you guys we also love to watch um roaming reckless and she goes she's been there before so it was cool she's actually in the same state as us right now anyways this is just a random tangent but it was cool to actually go in and support them and yeah. Well, this walk has taken a little bit of a turn. So we got back home yesterday at like seven at night. And then today, which today is Tuesday, we left Monday, got home Monday night. It's Tuesday. This morning at like 3 in the morning, we got news that my grandma, who we literally just visited, passed away. Um, so yeah, I'm so thankful that I got to see her. It was unexpected. It's not like she was hospitalized or anything like that. Um, and yeah, she was found this morning. So we'll have to go back out for her services and such, but that's what happened. So your prayers would be super appreciated. Um, and my grandma didn't know the Lord and she loved the Lord. So there is peace and comfort in that. But nonetheless, it's still very hard. So um, I'm grateful that I got to say goodbye, even though I didn't know it was a goodbye because I didn't get to say goodbye to my grandpa who passed away last March. And that was really difficult for me to deal with. Um, so yeah, don't really know what to say other than that. Don't know what the rest of this video is going to have. But I, we all would appreciate your guys' prayers. And if you guys could also uplift my uncle. He lived with my grandma, so he's just alone now. And my aunt, who is fighting kidney failure and is on the kidney um, transplant list. So very much appreciate it. Let me know how we can also pray for you. So we can just pray for each other. So.
Tuesdays are our preschool prep night, so I'm going to first start with my husband's laundry. I'll go ahead and do a load for him the night before just to make sure that he has fresh, clean clothes in the morning. And I do dry these on low overnight, and then if I have to fluff them in the morning, I will. For our daughter's lunch, sometimes I'll pack it the night before or the morning of school, and I just so happen to do it the night before. So starting off with her cereal, I'm also going to pack some fresh fruit. She had strawberries and mango this day. She does have a gluten allergy, so we do have to pack both her breakfast and lunch for school um, but yeah I like that and she gets to pick what she eats so that's pretty exciting anyways moving on to her lunch she's having some bell peppers which I'm surprised she likes bell peppers y'all because I really don't but it's a whole food and it's fresh so I love that she loves it y'all I will pack it every day throwing a little bit of her ranch in there and then these organic fruit strips are so good uh, she informed me after this day that she did not like them but I'm putting those in there with the cute little animal pick this lunch box is from Amazon so I'll be sure to link it and then I'm just deconstructing the Simple Truth Organic Lunchable. I didn't put the crackers until the morning of because I didn't want it to get soggy. Um, and then this is Wednesday, the morning of. I'm just opening her bedroom and waking her up, turning off her hatch, opening her little curtains. And you guys know we stopped at Bucky's on a road trip, so she wanted to wear her Bucky's shirt today to show her friends at school, and it was just so cute. I was also wearing an adorable Bucky's shirt that said road trip. And so, uh, wake up, get both of us dressed. Here's some hygiene products. Always a aluminum-free deodorant and my fragrance of the day. Novi loves to work. Novi, Novi's a curly girl, y'all. So she was wearing a little fragrance too this was her fragrance of the day english rose and then we did our uh dental hygiene routine and this was the before of her hair when we came back from our road trip we did cut her bangs because she'd been requesting it, and she just looks so cute her hair of the day was simple it was just a high bun with her bangs out and then after that we pack up all the stuff that we need for uh, the car and we drive to school and this is usually when we do our family prayer and i'll pray over novi and my husband and then we'll listen to music got to novi school it's so crazy to think that she only has a few months left and then it'll be summer and then she'll be homeschooled but in the morning her routine at school is to do worship prayer and bible story which i love after dropping her off i went to my husband's work to drop off his lunch that i had packed earlier that day didn't get to show you guys that part but yeah and that was basically my morning i just want to close off this video here uh, we've been home for two days now today is wednesday so i did show you guys a little bit of my routine like the preschool mommy morning routine so film that and i'm gonna try to keep the momentum going just because i think it's healthy for me to continue to um do something that i enjoy so tonight when chance gets home i miss him so much like you know when you go through grief and like you just really need your person and my husband is my person and he had to go back so I'm so excited for him to come home. We're gonna just hang out and have a chill, cuddle night, watch our show, and just be with each other. So I'm so excited. So I'm gonna tidy up and get ready for, uh, get the place ready for when he comes. We have a lot that's going on. My grandma's funeral, they've decided is going to be here shortly. So we'll have to go back out of town for that. Chance is gonna have to take a whole week off of work, but we're just really, um, really trusting in the provisions of the lord truly because there you guys know there's so much going on but getting ready for a baby we're about to have our baby sprinkle mm -hmm. we're going to two different states we're going back to utah and then we're going to go to another state um there's just a lot happening they said please comment down below let us know how we can pray with you so we can just pray for each other and we will see you guys in another video soon I'm not oh. <laughs> with emotion. This is a different experience, but I, I like it. That's the antidote to some of that.